Oh boy. Yeah. It's it's real. Yeah, this is a real thing. It's on the um It's on the sp it's on the, the thing, the periscope. God, Jesus Christ. Okay. I promised uh the world all of the entire world that I would be on the periscope. And uh, so here we go. How are you guys doing? How is it? Greetings from Mexico. Greetings from Brooklyn. Right back at you. Um, today I have... Um, hey there. <laughs> today I've been, uh, I've been on the phone with my mom for a long time. Getting up, up to speed. And... Um, I had uh, oatmeal with uh, strawberries, cinnamon. I didn't have. Uh, <laughs> I I know I need a haircut. I know, and I need to shave. Look at this. I almost have a f um, a man's beard. Almost. Oh boy. Oh, please. <laughs> Such a boost to be on Periscope. Um, currently, I am uh, sitting here at my at my work desk. And uh, I'm almost uh, on the verge of uh, finishing the, a new album. My new album. It's almost done. I shouldn't tell you because it's, I, I it's not going to come out tomorrow. But it's a thing. It's a real thing, I think. I miss San Francisco. <laughs> Yeah, it's the, I'm going to put out a visual album and then it's not going to be the actual album because there's going to be another album. I'm not going to do you guys like Frank Ocean. Although I have to say, when Blonde came out, I thought there's no way this album can live up to any of the expectations with the way it's been t teased out. But it's it's very good. It's very good. I thought it was a very good record. So there you go. Um, have you heard it? Have you heard uh, Blonde, the Frank Ocean record? Yes, you have. Elena has. Is it true that I will come to Mexico next year? Is it? I don't know. I'm looking into it. I'm, I'm, I really, really want to go to Mexico because every time... I announce any other show like today we announced this this Berlin concert on the 30th of November all I get is people saying but Mexico when are you coming to Mexico and it's this affected Italian accent apparently um, when I do my thing um, yes I'd love to Like, have you ever considered writing more? Other than songs and articles. Well, thank you, Mimi. I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, it's some, people, I've been asked sometimes if I want to do that. I, I guess you mean maybe like a book or, or, or um, something more long form than a song or an article or a tweet. I write a lot of tweets. Um, I don't know. I'd like to write more. Thank you, Brett, for the respect. I'd like to write or other formats. It's always fun, but I don't know. I don't know when it's it's, it's got to be a reason for me to want to go outside of the song format because I like that a lot. Gives me a lot of joy. A, an autobiography, yeah. Why not? I'm only 34. People need people need to know. Uh, oh my God! It's Matthias. It's Young Dreams boy. It's baby Makia. He's on Periscope. Last time I was on Periscope, he was right there. Or maybe not the last time, but the time before that, because he was staying here in the apartment. He was staying right there on the on the sofa thing. And now he's inside there. He's in, inside the Periscope. Have you guys heard the new Young Dream single? Do you know? Have you heard it? It's so good. It's uh, it's called of the city, and it's on the Spotify, and the, it's lit exactly. It's lit. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So it's out there on the 
on the, all the things. It's on the SoundCloud and on the Spotify and on the the Doobie Dap Doop. All of them. It's it's full on. It's bitterlit. <laughs> oh, you better believe it. Yeah. It's very good. Oh, it's it's uh, by a group called Young Dreams, and the song is called Of the City. Yeah, of, O F, the city. What kind of title is that? What kind of title is that, Matthias? I know you're watching. Of the city, so mysterious. Of the what? Of the city. Like of, what is of the city? What is it? I'm from the city. Oh, of, like Matthias of Bergen? Of the city, me and my, I don't understand. My, I'm of the city. Anyway, check it out. <laughs> I want to go to Ar Argentina too. I'd love to go to Argentina. Um, and I'd love to go to Brazil again and maybe Oh, of the born and raised from the streets of the city. I love it. Okay, I get it. Oh. What does that mean? I want to go to Mexico and to Argentina and to Brazil. That's all South America. Maybe I can make a trip out of it, a road trip. Where do you not want to go? <laughs> You know what? I want to go anywhere I'm, I'm, I'm invited and wanted and uh, where they'll take care of me and, you know. Is it really? I didn't... Sorry, I, that's my Norwegian ignorance. I thought Mexico was considered South America. But there you go. I don't really know. I don't really have education, you know. I, uh, I don't, I don't know things. What do I think, what do I think about K-pop? Well, I'll tell you what. Um, oh, okay, so it's Central America. But yeah, because North America, that sound, it, that would sound crazy. If Mexico was considered North America, then call me the Pope. Jesus. Southern, is it really though? It's sometimes confusing. This I agree. You can call me Pope, uh, Pope Loke. Pope Loke. Daddy Pope. There's a Prince song called Daddy Pop. It's not his best work. Um, oh, that's wonderful. Two way monologue. Put it on. Turn it up. I always, when I hear that record, again, I always think about um, how s it's so soft and fluffy. All the drums sound very soft on it. Uh, just an observation. But it's, uh, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Now there's some more hearts. And there's more requests to come to Mexico. Well, this is, it's the, pu it's exactly, I think that's very true, Sarah. It's the puppy. It's like a little, soft little puppy. Uh, yeah. He likes the puppy, the puppy, the puppy song, puppy sound. They get that magical puppy sound. Um, yeah, I would love it in Mexico. I'm, 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 I, 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 I want to make it real. I want to make Mexico a real thing for us. Well, thank you for listening. Uh, and I can't believe Daystar Over was on ever on on MTV. That's amazing. I did not know that. That is some video right there. I will not. You know, I would never ignore you. Who who are you, Lee Jimmins? Yeah. What's your real name? How, can I trust you? Yeah, I'm very flattered to have fans in Latin America. Um, this is so wonderful to be on Periscope and to have so many uh, uh, positive, positive vibes. I'm always reminded that there's people out there uh, on, on Periscope. 
They're all on the Periscope. So, thank you. You work at an aquarium. Sarah, you work at an aquarium and you have your lunch hour. What are you going to have for lunch? What do you eat at an aquarium? Fish. No, no, no. Not funny. Um... That's amazing. So you, you watch Periscope almost like a television show every day for lunch. I miss Brazil too. I miss it. I miss it. I miss it a lot. Oh boy. Well, I will tell you, uh, please feel free to ask me questions. Of course, I, I, I'm working on coming to Mexico. I'm working on coming on, uh, to the, the, you know, other places. Korea, yeah, man. Korea was great. Korea. South Korea, presumably. <laughs> watching me, watching you. Well, I'll tell you the name of the song that I, you know, like to play most. It, it just varies, you know. Sometimes you like one and you play it too much and you have to leave it. Oh, burrito bowls. That's you're doing it right. Um, watching me, watching you, watching me. There is, there's something, and there is something happening. Yeah, there is maybe a song. I don't know what it's called. Is it called Watching Me, Watching You? I don't know. For for lunch, I will probably make myself an omelet. Yeah, I probably will. I I'm not turning my head. I say I I'm seeing your message. I'm just asking. Oh, maybe I, I missed it. Did you say your name? Sorry. Um, this guitar? Yeah, yeah, that's a nice one. What is that? Oh, is that one? Yeah. This is what I like to... I like to say noodle on, noodle on that. This one, however, I'm trying to sell this one. It's a 12-string guitar. I don't really play it. Will I be scoring any movies? I'd love to, if it's a cool movie. And if people are, you know, fun to work with. Uh, but yeah, me and Kato would like to score a movie. I like scoring movies with Kato. We have a good time doing that. Yes, I have a show upstate New York on the o October 8th. I'm playing a festival called the Positive Festival or something. Oh, oh Positive? I don't know. But it's a small festival up, up there. My favorite guitar to play is this... Uh, uh, Gibson I have I currently in Norway actually would I play sing with board Elvis Oker again yeah sure if, you know the right song yeah I, I'd sing with him he's a good he, he can sing boy can sing uh, you know what I don't actually I don't know uh, K-pop music that well and I, I certainly wouldn't know a title I like yeah I like getting fan mail uh you know i don't get a lot of physical mail anymore but there you can write stuff on the on facebook on my fan page you write it yeah usually the blue gibson is here it's in the living room it's on the wall in the living room yeah your mom wants to say hi that's fine Oh, collaborations? Well, there's some fun collaborations with a certain uh, Matias Teles, because uh, he's produced a lot of the songs. Um, and then, you know, my band, Dave, Chris, Alex, play on it a lot. Um, but yeah, there may be a collaboration. I'm just trying to find out what songs go on the record. What songs go on the record. What songs I'm going to leave off, because there's a lot of songs. And there may be a... I don't know. This is not that interesting for you guys. The new Brazilian movie. No, I haven't seen it. Aquarius. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. You wrote a letter to me in 2004. What did you What did What did you write about? Or what were we talking about? Because I probably was not very good at uh, answering people when they wrote physical letters. Physical. This is my tattoo. It's the Mona Records tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the Mona Records uh, is out of out of business. 
it's done. <laughs> but uh, what a fine label, what a fine label it was. I know Taito, yeah. I, I don't know him very well, but I've met him on several occasions and we've, we've corresponded. He's a very nice, nice man. Physical address. Well, there is a physical address, I think, on my Facebook. Um, you can send it to my management in America, uh, Fort William, uh, or the one in, in Norway, Maid Management. Whichever is closest, you know, put it in the mail and use that address. Faroe Islands. Well, I do not know that I have even one fan <laughs> in the Faroe Islands. So if you can f produce at least one, I I'll start considering going there. I'd love to go just for, for the spirit of it, but... A Brazilian sample. Have I used a Brazilian sample in my songs? No. I have not sampled, but I've certainly used a lot of Brazilian chords and instruments, rhythm patterns. Um, I was trying to make it sound like I had sampled uh, a Brazilian record on If Only, certainly, that song, If Only. Thank you, I have one fan, you are that fan. You be the fan, you be the change. Well, now I'm going to have to seriously start considering going to the Faroe Islands. <laughs> I broke a string during a show and tried to sign it. Yes, this has happened. This happens way too often. Sorry if, sorry if I'm, I'm, there's probably a lot of interesting stuff here, but I, I'm, yeah, the, the, it's sort of a bossa nova beat and faces down. That's true. It's true. There's all, you know, Brazilian music uh, influences are all over all my records, even even when you don't think think so. There's a lot of I I just love it. I think it's the best. It's the best. I would love to bring David and Chris to Indonesia. It's about damn time. Um, I've uh, I have not. I've been there only solo the the, the last couple of years, and I apologize. Uh, I'm gonna start bringing bringing those guys. It's just so far, far to go. It's far, far. I have not. I haven't really showered and taken care of taken my pedicure and my my mask today. So the get down. No, what is that? What is the get down? I'm not watching that. Okay, silence. I like it. A lot of silence. Well, oh yes, Gal Costa. I saw her in concert. I would love to sing with Gal Costa. I saw her in concert 10 years ago in New York City. And she was tremendous. I, I very often have meet and greets after the shows, you know, if, if I have time or if I feel up for it. If I'm, if I'm toast, sometimes I just don't do it because I, I just don't have anything to give and I I don't want to come out and sort of make myself available if I don't have anything to to offer but I, yeah I like meeting people after the shows and it's very it's very pleasant to see people how am I today um I'm good I'm pretty good yeah I've been taking care of business and talking to my mom on the phone uh doing some stuff yeah 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 it's not bad. I'm, I'm, getting ready to. Do do do. I gotta get on with my life, of course. But I don't. I'm not gonna go, go running today. Probably. I don't know. I ran. Yeah. No, it's good. And I'm getting there with this new music and stuff. And I'm literally at this moment just a man sitting talking to. Myself, sort of. But you're all. Here. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. The Bad Law performance at Spellamon, yeah. It was very, it was a lot of fun and I felt it went according to plan. I don't miss living in Norway because I'm there all the time, so I feel almost as if I'm, you know, I get my share. I'm going to Norway tomorrow. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm there. Uh, well, 
thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad someone's out there because if not, I, I would be just a crazy man sitting in his own apartment talking to, to himself. Wouldn't I, you know, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. I do look tired. I, I noticed that because, uh, well, it's not morning here in New York, but I sort of just stumbled out of bed and into work. And I've been sitting here, and now I'm going to go wor work out and do my thing, and then probably shower, and after which I will look hopefully better. I don't know. Will I shave? Maybe I should shave today. Maybe I should cut off all this fucking hair. Sorry. Um, I can't marry. I got... Somebody asked if I could marry them, and I would have to uh, pass on that. Just simply, I have been married, and... And uh, and it's you know it has its ups ups and downs, but it's, it's something that you you have to yeah it's a lot of work <laughs> it's a lot of work so I I'm not I can't marry you yeah okay so there's some people saying I should cut the hair some people saying yes please shave it's super hard yes I hear you Sarah it's very hard so it's it's uh, it's something not something to just just uh, sort of throw yourself into, although it, that has its charms when you're young also. Um, but it, you can't sort of be naive about it twice, I think. Recommendations for Bergen in November. Oh boy. Well, bring a raincoat. How's that? Other than that, you know, just enjoy yourself and uh, Bergens will take care of you. Think about it. Well, for marriage, you mean. <laughs> well, thank you for all these very, this incredible flattery. Yep, Sarah, I hear you. It's, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's a give and take. And it's, it's, it's sometimes you have to be patient with it. Well, the, that's the deal. You get married, you, you, you agree to be very patient and, forgiving with each other and, and loving and all these things it's it's uh, it's no joke I tell you but uh, God bless God bless us all um, when will, <laughs> will I release the new record the new album you know what I'm, I'm not gonna tell you <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you but there is a new record or is there I don't know. There is a record. There's something happening. There's something cooking, man. There's something happening. Uh, so who are you going to call? Yeah. There's... Um, bam! New record. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a new record called Pleasure. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. It, it's still, you know, it's still, um, I'm still trying to figure out what's going to look good on t-shirts, you know. But it's, it's, uh, I'm very excited about the new music. There's a lot of new music and, uh, no, I have not listened to the new Wilco record. I, I thought the cover just looked so silly. Um, I know they're a good band and I like a lot of their records, but this, there's, it's just, oh, you know, who am I to say? I'm silly, too. But, but, it's, yeah, it's, it's very, and the title, of course, also. Um, but, you know, it's good that they have a good humor, humor about it. But it just, um, I think the cover made me a little apprehensive. But I'm going to listen to it. There, uh, I like them a lot. Yeah, it's what I do. You know, I make records. Two years. Some some people. Uh, some people. Uh, Carly Rae Jepsen. Some. You know, some people take their time, and I feel I take my time because I I I I feel. I think I thought last year I was ready to release the new record, but but I wasn't, and and uh, thank and it was that was too soon because the, it felt like Please had just come out, but now it's been two years. Thanks for following the Infinite Playlist.
infamous infinite playlist on Spotify. And if you are watching this, you should follow it too because it's a it's a pretty fun. I put on almost every day. I, I put a, put a new song on the playlist, and it just goes on forever. And you may like the song, or you may not, but it's there for you. And then if you don't like it today, you'll like. Sorry, I just missed a message there. It just faded out. It said something profound, but it's good. It's good stuff. Or not, you know. I like it, but but it's good. There, there's today. I put. Uh, no. The Christmas cover. Oh, God, yeah. It's... I guess I have to do it because I've done it now uh, almost every year for, for quite some time. I got to do a Christmas cover. Any suggestions for Christmas covers? Any, uh, any ideas? I don't know. Who... Is that a song? AWOL Nation? I don't know that song. I don't know that that's a song I know. Oh, this is, um, yeah, Carly Rae Jepsen, you know, I, I, I just haven't really been that uh, into it. And I, I, I have a lot of friends who are into it. <laughs> Jan Uwe. Yeah, I'll do uh, Jan Uwe in English. But yeah, Carly Rae, um, I listened to her, um, uh, Song Exploder episode. See what see what see what all the fuss was about Eminem cover <laughs> it's a band it's a band there's a band called AWOL Nation well I will check it out maybe I'll cover them for Christmas I don't know you tell me but I I, um, I have to say I put this on the playlist on the infinite playlist on Spotify it's the new song by Post Malone and Justin Bieber, of all people. And it's, I, I really, really liked it. One Dance, yeah, that'd be funny. I like One Dance. I do like One Dance. I think that would be really good, actually. Maybe I'll do that. But I did a Drake song last year. I, I don't want it to seem like a hokey joke. I, I want it to seem like a real tribute. Um... Yes, I know Deer Hunter. Oh, I don't know them personally, but I, 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 it's their band that I, that I've sometimes followed. Um, perhaps yeah, work, work, work. But that's the thing, you know. Work is I, as much as I like it. I grew to like it. I didn't like it in the, in the beginning, but as much as I like it, I feel it would easily just seem. I don't know. There's something about like the sort of singer-songwriter types doing some of those songs, it's just, it just doesn't always feel that necessary. Never-ending story, uh, that's a very good, good song. Scuba divers, yeah, take care of the aquarium, okay? Have a lovely day, uh, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna get, Thank you. Yeah, you, you see what I mean? A fan in Florida. See, that's very exotic. I've played there just a couple of times, and there's not a lot of not a lot of fans there. <laughs> I, I played some cool gigs in Orlando. There are some people there, actually. To be fair, there's a lot of people there. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's Florida's tricky to for touring. Yeah, I should see. There is, there's people from Florida everywhere. They're here in the Periscope. Louisville, yeah, Louisville's a lovely town. I don't know, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. God, this, yeah, no. Don't, don't even. Well, what do you miss? Oh, just a bunch of, we just, we're just talking. A print of my face for for merch. <laughs> this this is wonderful ideas. Let's keep keep brain. Um, what do you call it? <laughs> Brainwashing. Brain. Um, I liked. Yeah, you saw me on Conan. That's cool. That was cool. Yeah. I, um, Germany. I like Germany. I don't have a big thing going on there, but I'm very excited to play Berlin on the 30th of November. Brainstorming, Jesus. 
I'm, I'm losing my mind. Brainstorming. No, thank God I have my hair. Yeah, I, I don't know what I would do without it. All right. I, I, I have to go. Um, I have to go. I have to go into the world and uh, be a productive human being for a moment. But uh, this has been a very productive conversation. Yes, Berlin, November 30th. I'm playing Berlin. An evening with me in Berlin. And uh, it's going to be wonderful. Maybe I'll play you some new, new stuff, new songs. I'll, we'll, we can listen to the record, maybe. But uh, do get a ticket and let me know on the Facebook what you want to hear, you know? Tell me what you want to hear. Um, yeah. Well, I love you all, too. Backstage queen. Oh my god, it's, a, it's very suggestive. Um, name. Dab for us before you go. What is dab? What does that mean? Dab. Dab for us. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Google dab. What, well, what does that mean? Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> do, do, can you all see all these things that I see? Dab. Yes, please dab. It's a dance move. Well, I, you know what? I, <laughs> thank you. I do not know anything about this dance dab boy thing. I can't help you guys. Look, I'm, I'm getting old. Look at this. I got stuff here. Got a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. This won't last forever. This, this thing here. I will, <laughs> I will do no such thing. Well, thank you guys for 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 following and listening and and uh, questioning and uh, and I'll I'll be back on the Periscope soon. We'll do this again soon. It's very constructive and I enjoy it. And I will come back to you with more information. But for now, I will remind you. I have not always been able to sing. No, believe me, um, I could barely sing on my first record. But I let me tell you, I. Uh, I'm playing Paris November 28th. I'm playing Berlin on the 30th of November. And thank you. And uh, and then I'm also playing upstate New York on October 8th. Yeah, I think that's about it. That's that's all I'm selling. It would be fun to see somebody from, from Periscope there. Yes, the songbooks. I'm going to also get to work on a volume 2. And maybe a new edition, because we're all sold out of Volume 1. It's a huge blockbuster. Bestseller. All the bestseller lists. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear. Um, Amber. Well, and I'm very happy to hear that the music is a soothing presence as we go through our lives. As it is for me also. So thank you for listening. I will see you guys very soon. On the Periscope or in the concert. Or uh, anywhere. Damn it. <laughs> Alright? And and trust me, there's new music coming. There, keep, keep your eyes open. Ears attuned. There will be, there'll be some good stuff. Alright, bye bye now. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, here we go. Bye-bye now.